we're live all right yep. what's going on guys and welcome to today's video so if you've been following the videos you know that i just got done doing brakes on the jeep so what we got going on today is we're going to be doing the brake flush and we're going to be using this motive products power bleeder so this makes bleeding your brakes night and day difference like it's so easy doing this and i'll show you how um but i have to first open a new adapter i got in the mail so let's go ahead and do that real quick all right so i saw adam lz doing this with one of his packages so i want to try it out so what he did was he burned the tape off to open his package so let's try it <laughs> Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. You doing your own science experiments here? Mm-hmm. Voila. Look, nothing got damaged. Like, this is still literally just burns the tape off. So, this is the adapter you need for a Grand Cherokee. It's model number 1113. Or you can get model number 1013, which is... Uh, plastic not aluminum but I just got aluminum because it's heavier duty I should burn this <laughs> it'll melt onto that that was cool though yeah way easier oh yeah so this basically goes on to your uh, brake fluid reservoir so you take your cap off and then you can install your adapter here so and there you go and this thing is tight like it's not coming out like because it twists it has these three like teeth and you twist it and it locks in place so it's not coming off but we don't need to put it on yet so we just know it works now show everyone how fast you can go All right, so this adapter goes on to this fitting right here. So you pull it back, stick it in, good to go. So what you do is you put this on your brake reservoir and then you pump this up. This is a hand pump, you pump it up so you get some pressure. And then it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna put pressure in your system so you don't need anyone pressing the brake pedal. And you just pump it up and this you fill this up with fluid, then you pump it up, and this will be in charge of putting fluid in your system and keeping pressure on it. So all you have to do is go around and crack the bleeders open, and this is all the work for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, what you need to do is you need to empty out your brake reservoir, and I don't know where my fluid extractor is. I have that one up there on top of those coolers but that is air powered and it's huge, so it's kind of an overkill for this job. So I'm just gonna use a good old fashioned turkey baster. And you don't want this brake fluid touching your paint on your car because it will eat up the paint. So always be careful. All right, so as you can see, a lot of it came out. We filled up one literally all the way to the top and then the other one is like right around here. So it's a good amount. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to fill it up with fresh brake clean. Bruh. I just opened this. You always want to use new brake clean because if you leave it sitting out, uh, eventually it starts absorbing water and that's bad for brake fluid. So top it off. All right, so once you have it topped off, what you want to do is you want to and reinstall this and you want to test that there are no air leaks when it's dry before adding fluid. So, I'm gonna go ahead and 
put the cap on. There we go. So once you do that, make sure this is closed and you want to pump it up. So normally you want to do um, 10 to 15 PSI. Anywhere in between there, you're good. Anywhere below, you're too low. Anywhere higher than that, you're too high. So pump it up real quick. All right, so that's at 15. So you want to wait a little bit and make sure that it doesn't go down. If it goes down, then that means you have an air leak, but I mean, right now it's staying like that. We're just going to wait like a minute or two, check on it. If it's there, we're good to go. We'll bleed the air out of this, throw the fluid in there and then pump it back up and we're ready to start. A few moments later. So it's been like two minutes and the needle hasn't moved. So we don't have an air leak. So it's a good thing. So what you want to do now is take the top off and it will bleed the air out. You saw that? Look. Ready? And there you go. So now what you have to do is take this off. You throw some fluid in here, pump it back up. I'm just gonna use the whole bottle. Fluid's in, put the cap back on. You can see the brake fluid going to the reservoir. Alright, so right there it's at 15. So now we can start bleeding. So you're gonna use this little catch can that you get with the kit. So you want to start on the farthest away from the reservoir. So you go passenger rear, driver rear. Passenger front, then driver front. So let's go to the passenger rear. So you start by taking the cap off of your bleeder, put it somewhere where you're not gonna lose it. And I'm using this uh, brake line wrench. So in the back, it's a 10 millimeter. So you wanna put your, your wrench on first. Then you wanna put your little hose on the bleeder. So the hose is on the bleeder and you got the wrench on and then all you have to do is open it. So you open the bleeder, all right? And then look, you see, it's starting to come down. Mm -hmm. So you do that until you see new clear fluid pumping in. It's very dark right now. Yeah. It's starting to fill up this bottle. All right, so as you can see here, the fluid coming out is basically clear. So this side is good. So all you have to do is go ahead and close up the bleeder valve or bleeder screw, whatever you want to call it. I did a couple turns, so just go until it's tight. And then just make sure it's snug. You can take your wrench off and then take your hose off. And this side is basically done. So what I do is I spray it down with some brake clean. It doesn't even have any. Spray it down, make sure it's clean. Make sure you put your cap back on. And this side's good to go. So as you can see, we lost a couple pounds of pressure. And that's just from the fluid coming out of the system. So you want to pump it back up to 15.
like that. And then you can move on to the driver's rear. So you come over to the, to the driver rear and same procedure, just take your cap off, put your wrench on there. And then your hose. Then you just open it. Then you start seeing all the dark fluid come out. So you leave it there until this turns clear. You know you have new fluid coming out. All right, so we lost a couple pounds this time. So again, pump it up. And you're good to do the passenger front. So the front side is a lot easier. Take your cap off and the front is actually a, what is it, 11 millimeter. So again, you put your wrench on and you grab your little catch can. So I'm gonna be holding it and then you open the bow. A nasty fluid come out. Give it one more turn. And then these should go by a lot quicker because a line to cut to get here is a lot shorter. So you'll see this turn clear a lot faster. Alright, so it's coming out clear now, so close this off. It's a lot easier up here. A lot more room for everything. So tighten that up. Take your hose off. Let it drain down. And then you just want to clean this. And put your cap back on. And off to the last side we go. And there it is. So now that you're done with that, all you have to do is unscrew the cap to get the pressure off and you are good to go. All right, just put this back on so there's no pressure. Now you can take your cap off. No cap. <laughs> Throw your new or your your original cap back on, and you are good to go with this. So there you guys have it. That's how you bleed your brakes using these uh, Motive products. Like I said, you can buy a kit where it brings the power bleeder, a catch can. Oh, well, usually there's two that come in the kit, but I think I lost one. Either that or I have to find it. But yeah. You need the power bleeder, a catch can, and you need the adapter that's specific to your car. So if you go on their website, you can find it. Um, I'll link their website in the description below. This is not a sponsored video or anything. It's just me showing you guys a product that I really like using, and I know it makes the job easier. So I know you guys can do it a lot easier if you use it. So I'll put the link in the description. So you can get you one of these and start doing your own brake flushes. So now all we have to do now is throw the tires back on and go test drive it. Ooh. Keep that fit, man. <laughs> Look how low it is, dude. So low. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're about to get the first impression. She already did two little minor stops from like 15 miles per hour, but we are going 50 now, so go ahead. Wow. It's really smooth now. Oh 
All right, we are going 64 miles per hour. Break to like 40. Nice and smooth. Yeah, it's really nice. Before, when I would break, my hand would be going like this the whole time and my watch would be shaky. <laughs> yeah, that was smooth. Yeah, it literally felt. Yeah, in the beginning of the video, I showed them how it was shaking when I was recording and driving, so, and this camera's not wide angle, so you couldn't see it, but do it again. No shaking whatsoever. Like, the car feels smooth. Yeah, it does. So, like I said, this car used to shake when we would drive, and it would shake when we would brake, so. <laughs> we were screwed all around. We were shaking the whole way, like I said, driving and braking, but now it's so much different. It feels like a brand new car. Smooth when you drive, smooth when you brake. It has brand new tires, freshly balanced, new alignment, new rotors, new pads, everything greased up. It's just, it's awesome. It feels so much better. Yeah, this, riding in it now, road trips will be nice. Oh yeah. Because when we took that road trip to Pennsylvania, it was we were shaking all over the place. <laughs> we were shaking all over the place for three hours there and three hours back. It was bad. Yeah. And my buddy Kevin told me that when he took the tires off, I didn't see it. I don't know how I missed it, but he said on one of the tires, the wires were showing on it already. And we literally drove from Pennsylvania or to Pennsylvania and back pro probably like that because it was shaking pretty bad the whole way there and the whole way back. It's pretty crazy. I love it. Thanks. Yeah, I like it too. Here we go. Breaking awesome. again. Breaking again. <laughs> Melanie says it feels awesome too. Yeah, like it it it's just a very comfortable ride now. It's comfy. It's comfy like the um the green car. It's comfy like the green car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she thinks the Subaru the coupe, the bucket is pretty comfortable in the back. <laughs> I wish I could sleep on it. <laughs> Emily thought otherwise of the bride seat. Yeah, way too tight. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.